ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम महान शक्ति देवताय नमः चैप्टर टू एडवाइस ऑफ श्री कृष्णा ऑन अध्यात्म स्पिरिचुअल गाइडेंस गिवन टू श्रीमती ताई बाय श्री कृष्णा नंबर वन श्रीमती ताई टोल मी वन डे श्री कृष्णा टोल मी टू मेडिटेट I sat down in front of him while my children were busy studying or playing I was in deep meditation after a while my neck started bending backwards it bent almost 90 degree to the backbone a snake rose from the backbone and crawled over my head and came very near to my mouth it dropped two drops in my open mouth and retreated who did be nectar i do not know whether my children at play saw it but they had seen my neck bent so they said mother what are you doing you will thus sprain your neck i had arisen from my meditation by now i told them do not speak out what you have seen today lest it spread everywhere this experience of yogic kriya is given in dyaneshwari in these words tav vari lek doni dhaade chandra mrita che thade kan vadoni mide shakti mukhi dyaneshwari adhyay 6 ov 247 While I attentively heard the above experience from Shrimati Tai, I felt the pulse, that is, pand of the state of Sri Bhagwan Uvacha of Sri Mad Bhagwat Gita. Number two, in 1997 on Shivratri Day, Sri Krishna told Shrimati Tai, "Promise me that you shall start my work when I so instruct you to do." Shrimati Tai said, "Why do you want me to promise again and again?" Shri Krishna said, "Yes, I want it again." On that day, devotees started pouring in right from the morning. Shri Krishna said, "You shall not perform abhishek of milk on the Shiv Pindi today. You collect the milk of abhishek in a flat vessel throughout the day." Shrimati Tai was engaged the whole day collecting the milk. During this period, she said that she had the feeling of being bathed in milk. Immediately, Shri Krishna said, "Just like you were removing milk from the flat vessel, in future you have to remove difficulties of my devotees." that is why i did not allow you to perform abhishek today number 3 one day after shrimati tai's meditation she was seen calling out her grandson makaram but he was not near about in the hearing distance others of the family came asking her what she wanted she said look here at my feet but they saw nothing whatsoever then shrimati tai said call makaran only he alone can see it he was summoned when he came and saw he shouted grandma get up quickly a snake has tied up both your feet are you not afraid shrimati tai silenced him by sign next day makaran drew a picture to show as how the snake had coiled around the feet of shrimati tai we were greatly astonished to see the picture number 4 shri krishna was persistently asking for a golden ring the earlier one he had given away to a devotee when demanded again shrimati tai said krishna how can we afford golden ring every time will not an ordinary ring satisfy you 
But Shri Krishna said, No, I want golden ring only. Thereupon Baba purchased a golden ring and offered it to him. At that time Shri Krishna told Baba, Now onwards Shri Mati Thai has to see you in Shunya only. This indication was not understood then. Shri Krishna gave many indications of the impending calamity but they were lost because they were not understood. Once he made her to wear new sari and weave shevanti flower garland in her plate before going to Ambarnath to her friend's house. There he said, Give Shri Mati Thai a cup of coffee. She will not be seen thus again in future. Shri Krishna told Shri Mati Thai to keep aside her Mangal Sutra. She hesitated, but Baba insisted her to agree. After two to four days, Baba passed away to become one with Shri Krishna. Number 5 Shri Krishna further tested Srimati Thai's patience even after the demise of Baba. It is detailed below. One devotee of Krishna used to come to Krishna Kutir seeking blessings and guidance of Shri Krishna to beget a child. On the tenth day of Baba's demise, she phoned up Srimati Thai to inform her that she is expecting again. Setting aside her sorrow, Srimati Thai inquired about her health lovingly and also advised her not to take the trouble of coming to Krishna Kuti. Every two days, that lady used to phone up Srimati Thai. One day, when Srimati Thai was in midnight meditation, Shri Krishna spoke to her saying, Thai, Baba has taken rebirth. Thai said, Is it so? Okay. Then he asked, Would you like to visit her? Instantly, Shri Mati Thai replied, No, I am not going. Then Shri Krishna said, you are right. In fact, Baba has no rebirth. This is how Sri Mati Thai and Sri Krishna understood each other perfectly. After a week, that lady underwent miscarriage. Then Sri Krishna said, Baba was left with just little suffering to undergo on this earth. That is over now. Srimati Thai said nothing, but she felt sorry for the lady. She prayed Sri Krishna for her well-being. Number 6 Just like Sri Krishna prepared Srimati Thai, so also Srimati Thai prepared his devotees to face the forthcoming facts. Once on 5th January 2002, all the devotees of Dombivili Krishna Leela Kendras had gathered at the residence of Srimati Rekha Joshi. There, Srimati Thai addressed them saying, Thai is not permanent. She is but an instrument in the hands of Sri Krishna. Only He is permanent. But the assembled devotees failed to interpret and understand her words. Srimati Thai told the devotees not to come to Krishna Kuti Badlapur. She said, Go to Krishna Kendra and pray collectively Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Mantra henceforth. Your prayer will be responded because I take all your responsibility. I shall be your support in the times of your need and difficulties. During this period, Sri Krishna forbid his devotees from bringing garlands, flowers, prasad 
and clothes etc if it was brought it was touched to the feet of shri krishna idol and returned as prasad shrimati tai in fact even broke her relation with krishna kutir and also her sons nanda and munna we could not guess the purport of her absence from krishna kutir we thought perhaps she may be on tour to foreign countries shri krishna absorbed her within him on 10th february 2003 even before she had completed his commitments and promises he only knows why so do you know this coincidence date of birth of tai 29th may date of expiry of baba 28th may date of birth of baba 8th february date of expiry of tai 10th february number 7 now let me narrate the yoga experience of shrimati tai one prominent person from political circle was to undergo operation of his leg in bombay shrimati tai observed silence that is mon and meditation inner silence for the devotee and the country for 3 days during the meditation a sticky semi liquid substance started oozing out from the pit behind her top head it could not be washed away even by head bath and rubbing shrimati tai told her grandchildren makran and prerna to pluck and remove three white hair each from the spot of her head that spot became bald but the stickiness remained no one knows when it vanished somebody asked shrimati tai whether this phenomena could be the one step of the seven steps enumerated in yoga vashishta shrimati tai replied i have no knowledge about it after some days the doctors declared that the leg of the devotee is fully recovered but shrimati tai said doctors are not correct it is not yet fully recovered another yogic experience is here after her above meditation shrimati tai experienced extreme burning sensation in her backbone which was unbearable she told shri krishna i cannot bear it any more he advised her to pour a pot full of cold water on the backbone to stop it when done the burning sensation vanished surprisingly not a drop of water had rolled down to her waist the water had evaporated even before touching her waist shrimati tai said i have heard that mukta bai had burned mande that is sweet roti on the back of shri dyaneshwara now i accept it to be true because i myself have experienced a bit of that heat from this experience of shrimati tai i am convinced that she has attained the state of yoga near about that attained by shri dyaneshwara this she has achieved in spite of bindings of family life and long service in the school as a teacher till her retirement of course it is because of life long association of shri krishna the jagat guru who has uplifted her to the state of supreme tranquility shri dyaneshwara suffered innumerable hardships and neglect before achieving the recognition as mother that is mauli of the universe whereas shri krishna himself elevated shrimati tai 
and conferred on her the status of Vishwajanani. One day, Sri Krishna questioned Sri Mati Thai, who among us Radha, Meera, Draupadi and Kunti you consider as the greatest devotee? Within a fraction of a second, Srimati Thai replied, Kunti is the greatest among us all. Sri Krishna applauded her and said, You too have to undergo sufferings and hardships like Kunti. In reality, the life of Srimati Thai was also ridden with great sufferings and hardships. But she bore it with self-respect and dignity with the support of Sri Krishna. Her firm faith in him stood by her. Number 8. <clears throat> Srimati Thai, who used to participate in the celebrations of his devotees, had stopped attending any functions since over a few years. She used to remain at home and meditate. One day, Sri Krishna said, Thai, you will not be present during Munna's marriage. On hearing this, all her three children were upset and angry. How come Srimati Thai remained absent during the marriage of her own son? They started weeping and prayed Sri Krishna to reconsider it. Thereupon Srimati Thai said, Are, why do you resort to weeping? How can we know what his plans are? You all have grown up in the house of Sri Krishna. Let me now meditate. Srimati Thai remained absent and did not attend the marriage ceremony of her son, which was attended by thousands of invitees. She remained all by herself, confined to the house for three days of celebrations, not even once crossing the threshold of her house. On the third day, when the guest started leaving Krishna Kuti, Srimati Thai said, while saying Tata to them, inadvertently stepped beyond the threshold. Suddenly she ran back and fell on the cot as if struck by an electric shock or lightning. She shouted, Reshma, water, bring water quickly. She drank water and asked for more. Later she went to Sri Krishna's idol and pressing his feet said, Please pardon me. She told Reshma, I made a terrible mistake. The moment my legs crossed the threshold, the water in my body was sucked up. My body became dry as though it were peeled from within. I received punishment for my transgression of his words, for which I craved him for his pardon. Shri Krishna Arpanamastu